Hi everybody, I am going to be curling my hair today. I've had some requests now that I've had have longer hair to curl my hair again. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that. So, so I have a curling iron here and it is it's by This is by Conair Professionals. Um, sorry if you hear my kids running around. They're in school or out of school because of the pandemic. So, <sighs> um, anyway, it's about um, an inch, inch and a quarter around. So, what I'm going to do is I usually start on the top. I have a mirror in front of me here. Um, but usually what I do is I start, I move my bangs and I get about like an inch section. And then I take my curling iron and I roll back. I start about in the middle and I roll backwards, leave it there for a second and then pull it down like that. Okay. Then the next one right behind it, I grab it this and this one I do forward just to give it a little bit of definition and then move it down you want to leave about an inch and a half out and then I pull it down like this and by going up and down like this you get those beachy curls not the the big voluminous curls. So if this is what you're looking for, then that is the type of curl you're going to have to, to do here. And this one I do back and pull it down. And the reason I pull it down and leave that end straight there is because that way it won't make the whole thing extra curly. I don't want to be extra curly. I just want to have some body in my hair, some waves. So in this one I do that. Now those two that I did forward those are going to be two of um, three that I do backwards or forwards. Um, and I just do that on the top. You can do more if you want. And this one I do back since it's framing the face. This one I'm going to do forward. I'm not grabbing too much hair, just like an inch section forward. Pull it down. If you do your whole head and you find that you don't really like how straight the ends are, you can always pop in some curls and curl it all the way if you like. Let's see, I'm just going to do the rest of these back. And as I go throughout the rest of the hair, I'm not grabbing two smaller sections anymore. I just grab smaller sections throughout the top than I do throughout the rest of the hair. Because that's what you're really going to see. Alright, so I'm still doing the top section here. Rolling it back. See how when I grab it, I grab it like in the middle. And then I roll up. And then if I need to scoot up to allow this, I'm moving this little handle just a little bit at a time. 
You just go boop, 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 and pull down. I'm not liking how straight that is on the end there. Just need a little bit more of a curl. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab random hair. Again, grab, uh, starting at the middle, leaving about an inch and a half out. Scooting it down. Starting with the middle, going up, scoot, 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 holding it there for a second. Don't want to hold it there for too long, especially if you have a really hot curling iron, because your hair will come out, <laughs> like it'll burn off. So just make sure that if you have a really hot curling iron, you're not leaving it on there for too long, or you're putting it on a lower setting. And all in all, it takes me about five to 10 minutes to do all of my hair because, well, number one, I've been doing hair for 20 years, but number two, I don't like to spend that long on my hair. I have three kids and a puppy and I work from home as well. And so I don't like to spend a whole lot of time on my hair, but tonight, my husband and I are actually going out on a date, which we haven't done since the pandemic. He is taking me to one of those igloos. So hopefully it'll be okay. Hey, at this point, whatever is <laughs> going out, I'm good with. All right, so I'm just going and going underneath moving those top curls. You can also, if you, if you want to, you can section off your hair and work from the bottom up. I just, I always, for some reason, um, start on the top. It gives a, a little bit for those top curls to kind of set. So my birthday is on Sunday. It's kind of a big one. I'm going to be 40. Which I'm not too keen on, but it's just a number, right? I feel like I'm 29, 30. So that's okay, I guess. I've been saying I'm 40 for a while or almost 40 just to get my <laughs> myself more used to it. It's a little difficult for me. But I'm exactly where I want to be right now in life, so I guess I shouldn't have any complaints. Now what I do is I kind of go through, make sure everything is kind of curled. look back here. Make sure I have all those curled. So all that's great. Oh, there we go. And it's usually the ones in the back that you're going to have a hard time with. But if you have a mirror, All right, so then what I do after I have everything curled is I just kind of put my hands through it like this. I use a little tighter curling iron than I usually do because I have to live in this hair until eight o'clock at night. <laughs> well, until our Reservations like at eight o'clock is the earliest we could get in. So, but I like the way it looks so far. All right, let me grab some texturizing spray. 
And I just and I go through it. This isn't a hairspray. It's a texturizing spray. So it kind of gives you that beachy waves look. It gives your hair something to hold on to. Now I do have bangs, but with this, I just kind of put my bangs kind of in there. Cause I, I feel like I need something kind of in front of my face a little bit. I don't really need hairspray too much because I have a lot of that texturizer in there, but just to hold it till tonight, I'm going to put some hairspray in it. Now, this is the Matrix Vavoom sh the Shape Maker Extra Hold Shaving Spray. This is my favorite. It's one with the red cap. And I get a lot of questions about my favorite hairspray and this texturizer actually this is the sexy hair texture uh surfer girl dry texturizing spray so it's pretty light i like it so anyway i just kind of finger comb it So I did my makeup today for my date. So if you want, I can show you how I did that. Just leave a comment below. But anyway. So here this is. Anyway, let me know if you guys like this video and I can do more. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it down below for me and hopefully I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.